The 3D viewer in KitKat 8 has an updated user interface to make it more cohesive with the rest of the PCB editor and one of the most notable additions is the appearance panel which allows for easier control of the visibility of different types of parts and layers in the board. Let's have a quick look at it. So you can access a 3D viewer from the view menu. Let's bring it up. All right, so here's the 3D viewer and the new panel that has been added here is the appearance panel right there. So you can use the appearance panel to hide or show things. So for example, I find this pretty cool. You can make the board body disappear and you can have a look inside what's going on. So you can see here the pins, the interconnections between the, uh, the layers, the vias and all that. That's pretty cool. You can put that in there. Uh, of course, anything else can be turned on and off. So here's a front copper solder paste. It has an effect on and around the pads. There you go, like that. The mask, as uh, with the front mask, and so on. So as you can see, the appearance panel in the 3D viewer is very similar to the appearance panel in the PCB editor. You can see it right here. Now, in addition to the appearance panel, we also have the presets and the viewports. These two have been around in the 3D viewer, also in KitKat 7, but they were placed up on the top toolbar and they have now been moved in the appearance panel as well. So here we can have presets of how you'd like, for example, colors to look like. Any configuration in the appearance panel can then be saved as a preset here. I'll just say example preset. They can move from one preset to the other very quickly like this. And there's also the viewport. The viewport allows you to have specific camera positions for quick and easy access. So let's say that I want to preserve this camera position. I can save it in the viewport. I'll just say front side and then I can also flip this over and this is going to be a new viewport let's call it back side view like this and then it can flip from one to the other very quickly so that's the purpose of the viewports so I think there's also some performance improvements and the, the quality of the 3d rendering looks much better one thing that doesn't seem to have changed much is how long it takes for uh, ray tracing to work. So for example, if I click on this button here, yeah, speed wise, that's about how long it would take for the 3D viewer to render in KitKat 7. But once it's finished, it looks really nice. There you go. It takes a bit longer as you zoom in because there's more detail to render. Well, that's really awesome.